this country's constitution is built on the idea of pluralism. If there was anything that this cliche, the idea of India means, it is to me, I don't know what it is to you, pluralism. Where does the assertion of political Hinduism, which is the dominant majority of this country, uh, the Hindus are the dominant majority of this country, where does it rec uh, reconcile for you for, with constitutional pluralism? First of all, um, this assertion uh, of uh, Hindu identity is happening within the context of the constitution. Incidentally, the original… Sometimes not. I would argue it, the political part of it is, I mean, there may be people doing something uh, on the thing and there are ways of dealing with them. If somebody goes and lynches somebody for their religion, there is a well laid out pro uh, legal process to deal with it. But if within the constitutional process there, there is an assertion, why not? Especially since, as I pointed out to you, almost every community does it we are, and worldwide does it. Um, so why suddenly… Uh, go uh, do the following thing. First of all, deny that they are a, they have an identity and say, this is not a religion, it's a way of life and basically dilute it. Then next step you say, no, it's somehow not quite kosher because it's not really Nehru's idea of India. And then they say, but it is not secular. By the way, first of all, the word secular was not there in the original constitution. Added in 76 it, or 76. It was added yeah. in 76 illegitimately by an illegitimate parliament. You have, now, you have a problem with it being there? Well, I certainly think that it, it wasn't there. There should have been a debate by a legitimate parliament to have, uh, we can have a debate about it, but it wasn't there. Ambedkar oh. um, and the word socialist, by the way, as well. They were both kept out deliberately. There was a debate about it and it was kept out. It was reinserted without debate. If, if, if as a country we de decide to have it, it's fine. But it was put in there without a debate. My idea is that the idea originally, which I think Ambedkar and many others, the founders of the, uh, the, the writers of the constitution uh, thought of, was the idea of pluralism, which is very much a part of Hindu ethos as well as, as we just discussed. So I think I'm more comfortable with the idea of pluralism. But to say that somehow, therefore, um, the Hindus do not have a right to assert their identity, particularly when, and this will go back to our earlier debate, when we are certainly have an elite which clearly has an attitude that there's something not quite kosher with an assertion or even not just a political but even a cultural assertion of their Hindu identity. 